Welcome, one and all. I'm going to make another baking video. Um, so Sarah, we bought some burgers, patties, and I was just too lazy to go back to the bread section, honestly, to get buns. So Sarah tasked me with making some. Luckily, Paul Hollywood has a recipe. This is what they're supposed to look like. Supposed to look like. Um, yeah. I already got all the measuring because everything's in milliliters and grams and everything, so it's just way easier. Oh, oh, missing the sugar. Sugar. Everything's just easier to do beforehand because I got to get out my little scale and then, you know, everything. So let's get started. Pretty sure it just says the first thing is just to pour it into a big bowl. Now, the real, I'll just get to that when I get to it. 500 grams. I almost didn't have a big enough bowl. Almost. Now, the key is to get this in here without dumping it everywhere. I don't know if I got a big enough, I don't got a big enough bowl. It'll be, it'll be plenty big enough. Now, I'm doing this at the table, so hopefully the cat doesn't stop by. I did it at the kind of last time. It was just awful. It was just awful. See, like, I need to do this. And you can even kind of see in the bowl, so perfect. Uh, add the salt to one side and the yeast to the other. Now, one of these is salt, one is sugar. I think this is salt. I think I did the salt in the bigger one. I mean, but we'll, we'll find out. Add the salt to one side and yeast to the other. I mean, we'll go salt left side with uh, seven grams of salt, seven grams of yeast, and a cat hair. Okay. Go over there. Um, then what? Tip the butter in pieces. Tip in the butter in piece. Tip in the butter pieces in sugar. Now this is where um this is where it gets funky for me because this butter, it says small diced. Small dice? And then it says not only just small dice, but softened. Microwave? 10, 15 seconds? I don't know. So we're just going to tip it in there. Now, I don't... It's just... it's. Let's just go for it. I mean, what do we got to lose? Oh! Bada oh! We got a bit of a flower spill over there. It is what it is. But uh, I need a napkin. Oh well. Good enough. Uh, and sugar. Sugar. Otherwise known as yeast food. Yummy, yummy yeast food. Uh, combine milk and water in a jug. Oh, I gotta get the milk and water. I had to keep them cold. So we're in the fridge still. Whole milk and cold water in a jug. Combine them. See now this made one, I mean, getting 225 milliliters of whole milk into a glass like this was a horrifying experience. It's just that simple. That went way smoother, way smoother than getting them in there. Now, should I shake them up? I can't really shake them up too much. I can get a little bit of a And then make sure, uh, combine the milk and water in a jug. And then pour three quarters into the flour mixture and turn the mixture around with fingers of one hand to mix. Continue to add the remaining liquid a little at a time until all the flour is incorporated. Soft, but not soggy. So three quarters. I don't know how I'm supposed to really know that, but we're going to go for it. Um... Three quarters. Fingers. So should I do left fingers? Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Okay, here we go. Yes, yes. I guess we'll just. We'll, we'll, I wash my hands. You know. You know. It is what it is. Mix. Mix. Make sure we get the butter. Oh, this is the dirty part. 
Now, it did say you might need extra of the liquid, so let's hope we don't, because I'm not trying to figure out it with this. I mean, come on. A little bit of extra juices. What did it say? Not soggy, but soft. Oh, we're far, far from soggy at this point. It's like a Jim Henson film. Rip slash not rip because I don't like Jim Henson that much. But it is what it is. This shit freaked me out when I was a kid. I don't know how it wouldn't freak you out, but it is. Let's just, we're going for the rest of it. We're not really, we didn't start with three quarters. I can promise you that. So we'll just go for it. I feel like if I got the rest of it in there, I'd be able to use my other fingers because let's get, let's get it down in there. Okay. So that's all in there. Now we're going two hands. Now I took my ring and my bracelet off. So we should be able to get in there. Not worrying about getting stuff dirty. Oh yeah. That's coming together. Did I even say what I was making? Oh yeah, hamburger buns. I said that. Oh my god. Oh. I think I'm going to need more liquid. You may not need all the liquid or you may need a little more depending on the flour. And depending on if I actually did 500 grams. I think I did. But. I don't know. Maybe not. I just got to keep working it. I got to stand up though. Oh, yeah. I think I could probably use... It's coming together. I think I could probably... Well, I don't know, actually. I don't want to put too much. I think I might do a splash more of each. Splash more milk. Splash more water. I feel like the butter is incorporated well, though. See, it's just, a, it's just a little not damp. So I'm going to go get some more milk. Oh, my God. And I'm going to get this off my fingers. Ah! Bum, 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 bum. Boop. See, look at this. I mean, it's just immediately right down on the side. Come on. Wee bit. That should be good. Oh, hopefully that didn't get it soggy. Oh boy. We might have sogged it. It's a little on the soggy side, people. Now here, I mean, what does it say? Soft, but not soggy. I would say we're a little bit on the soggy side. I mean, you, you can't tell. But I can. So we're going to go a little bit more flour. A little bit. How else am I supposed to dry it out, right? Right? And as long as we incorporate it, it should. See, now, now we're getting towards the soft, the, the softness. And it's not that much more flour. It was soggy. It was certainly soggy before this. Oh, yeah. I, oh, we're shooting pieces everywhere. Okay, I think we got a good dough here. I think we got it soft. Dip the dough onto a lightly floured surface and knead for 5 to 10 minutes until smooth and elastic. Okay, let me go get that because I didn't prepare for that either. Watch job. Hopefully this isn't too big. Nah, that's a work. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. Lightly flowered. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we need. Oh, yeah. I guess this might dry it out, but maybe not. Oh, five to ten minutes. Okay. We're definitely just going to have to cut this part out. Okay, I think we just about got it to where it wants to be. This is tip the dough. Nope. 
place a lightly oiled bowl and cup place in a lightly oiled bowl cover and leave to rise for about an hour line two baking trays with baking paint well oh, it's a coronavirus this lockdown's made me forget how to speak line two baking trays with baking parchment parchment paper okay so in we go and we're gonna cover for an hour it is about five o'clock I will see you in an hour Okay, so the first batch very much was, well, okay, so I put, I didn't realize until after I saw it that it didn't rise very much that I put regular yeast in it and not instant yeast. Okay, so then I was like, oh, I'll just remake it real quick. Well, I went to four different grocery stores. None of them had instant yeast thanks to the coronavirus. So I had to use the yeast and do some water. I had to, like, because... You have to put the yeast with the sugar and the water, but then it's liquidy, so I had to like substitute some of the water out, and then I had to add some in at the end. Anyways, we got the dough, and it rose pretty well, I think. I should be able to get eight parts out of this. Should. It's also a crazy thunderstorm. It's been like four hours since I started this. Um, it says, tip the dough under a lightly floured service. Need to knock out any air. Divide the dough into eight equal pieces in shape into a smooth ball by placing it in a cage. What? Smooth ball by placing it in a cage formed by your cupped hand on the work surface and moving your hand around in a circular motion, rotating the ball rapidly. What's this? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you Sarah's always got it. Okay. Well, first of all, I need to know how much this thing weighs, so that's what this is for. Now, I didn't flower this, but I think we should be fine. We should be fine. Oh, it rose well. The first thing was a brick. I mean, we're talking mega brick. Mega, mega brick. So we got our scale here. Woo, you can hear that rain now. It wasn't raining too bad until. So let's take this off milliliters. Let's go grams. That should be that should be an okay way to tell here. Zero it out. Now we gotta do some quick math here. Eight fifty-five divided by eight. Let's go hundred and sixty hundred and six grams ish. Hundred and six grams ish. And then we're gonna roll it. 106 grams. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know how. I'm just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pull it. I guess. And we're gonna try to get it to 106 grams. Let's move this thing. This thing under here. This thing under here. Now we're gonna try to do. Okay. What are the chances? First grab. Perfect. Sarah, we. I have one. With, I do. I do. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go. Get it. Oh, there it is. Shashing. Shashing. This is gonna make it hella easier. So let's get this on back onto the surface here. We got not enough space. So that looks like a hundred and sure. Let's see, let's see, here we go, here we go. 107, no joke, I am a god. Okay, so now we gotta roll that into a ball. I think this is what they wanted, right? Yeah? A little ball? Sure. Put it over here on our pan. Oh, we're easily going to be able to fit eight of these on here. I was I was skeptical. I wasn't sure, but... That one looks like 112. 111. Okay, we're two for two. This one will just be a little bit bigger. This one just looks like trash, honestly. There, we'll do this one. Because the other one looks like doo doo. Oh. Hey, you look like doo doo. You said it first. Okay. Um. Place each baking tray in a large, clean plastic bag and leave the rolls to prove until double in size. A large, clean plastic bag? A trash bag? 
What other kind of bag am I gonna fit those in? I mean, look at this. It's huge. Well, I don't have a proving bag, do I? Yeah, I'll just cover it with a cloth and we'll let them double. And then we will pick it back up once they're proved. Okay, so. Let's say, I don't know if they've quite doubled, but they've gone up a little bit. They're definitely not perfect. I should have done a little bit of a boop, 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 like I do with the bread, but we got uh, our ovens preheated. We got to water and sesame seed them, and then they're in. They're in. Now, I probably should have done this. I don't even know if this is going to work. To, this should work, right? Oh, yeah, that worked. Oh, beautiful. I don't know how many sesame seeds to put on. Sure. Let's see here. 15 minutes and lower the temperature to 160 degrees Celsius. I have no idea what that is. 350 maybe? Um, another 5 to 10 minutes. So I'll pop them in. And I'll, when they're done cooking, I'll bring them back. Okay. Well, here's the final product. Oh, I don't think it looks that far off. Do you, sir? No, I think they look good. Yeah. I mean... They had like a thousand pictures, probably, and they probably made it like 50 times, and I didn't have the right yeast, and I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't say that they, they're not uniform, but I think we're going to cut one and see how, see how it looks. They smell wonderful, I'll tell you that much. Which one should we cut, Sarah? Uh, I don't know. Whichever one. Whichever one. Let's cut this ugly duckling over here. They're not very heavy. I don't think. Huh? Let's see. It's obviously got to cool more. Oh, it's definitely a little doughy. We got a little bit of doughiness. Obviously, they didn't rise as well as they could have. Not bad. I think it's definitely the flour though. I think that we got an okay, an okay result for having to wing the yeast, wing it real hard. Yeah, it definitely just didn't rise. You can see the steam though. Mm -hmm. I think they taste not too bad. It's good. It'll be good for a burger. Good enough. God, my hair. I know. Well, you won't let me get a shave, so the choices are look like shit or. Okay, I'm gonna stop eating these. Hamburger buns. There's hot dog buns in there too. Oh really? Yeah, they look way harder. Way, <laughs> way harder. I think if I did these again though, I could get them even better. But they have no yeast anywhere in the universe. Maybe Amazon has it, I don't know. But yeah, that's hamburger buns. Thanks for watching. <laughs>